So it's natural to have this desire to want to have friendships and relationships and all that communion. Like, like it's natural. You don't, you don't get to where you just, you see, be aware if the mind, <laughs> see a person could have a desire to have this, but then they're, they're not getting it. So then the mind gets resentful and says, well, but I'm like, I don't care, man. I don't like, I'm free of all that. I don't need anything. But really, if you, if you entered into their emotional energy body or astral body, you would feel like they want the, the, you know, there's an inclination toward that and <clears throat> to have some friendship because it's natural. It's natural. Not only is it natural, this is where a lot of the real growth and transformation and alchemy, spiritual alchemy takes place is in relationships romantic or friends Roman romantic it's like pushing the accelerated button especially if you have sex then then it's like you're everything starts to come up usually faster than the people are willing to deal with that's another video though I think so friendships <clears throat> I had to you have to assert yourself sometimes the, the universe just makes it like that because we're all individuals. We all have our own little thing we're doing and the way we're interacting. A lot of times we don't realize because the person don't say anything. That's the problem. This is what we're going to talk about now. We could be accidentally hurting somebody emotionally or mentally or physically. It's usually obvious. Yeah. But mentally and emotionally, it can be a little hidden because of, of so, and it doesn't mean even it's our fault. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean it's a shortcoming on our side and that's why we're hurting them. It might be though, it could be also. With, this is what we're here to discover. Hence the impo importance of communication. So I'm talking to, uh, I got somebody I've known for over 30 years. He's older than me, almost twice as old. Yeah, that's another subject. Age don't matter. Yeah, okay. Get some age first, and we'll see if it matters. <laughs> it does matter. You know, you can have... Um, no, but there's the indigo kids. Yeah, the indigo, indigo kids are cool. Yeah. If I wanted to, to put that label on, I could probably wear it too. But it doesn't matter. The, you, let's, say, let's say you have some, you know, divine perception at a young age, at 10 years old, 20 years old. Okay, that's fine. Good. Right on. When you're 40 or 30 or 50, it's gonna be deeper. It's gonna be deeper. There's gonna be living wisdom now because you've been on this crazy planet for some decades, you see? So that's where age matters. You get seasoned. So even though the 20 year old could say the same thing as the 70 year old, somehow the 70 year old is more magnetic because you just see something, I don't know, there's some magnetism there because he like, there's a depth about it. That's the difference. You know, when we say age doesn't matter matters but it don't matter okay so side subject just felt to clear that up sometimes I get that in the comments you know uh, okay <laughs> we're the soul we don't have a form you know all the spiritual blah 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 starts coming out you know but not really my channel is pretty cool I appreciate the comments they, they somehow know like the, the people it's like the energy field spits them out those who don't belong here I'm like oh good so I have a friend and he's, uh, yeah, he's in his seventies and he, um, not twice as old as me. That would mean I was, some of you might be calculating. It's like, whoa, he's only 40, right? 49. So <clears throat> here's the thing between us. He drops science sometimes. Like I like it. That's, <laughs> that's why we hang out. Okay. Sometimes though, he'll, he'll try to be schooling me on something, but there'll be other angles. There's other angles, like if we're gonna talk, it's almost like, like, look bro, cool. If we're gonna talk about this though, like, like I'm, you know, you're talking to another being here. So I have some angles too. So let me share those. And then, no, no, I don't, I don't wanna hear that sometime. See, thinks, thinks I'm justifying or not listening to him when I start to share some other angles. So I let that go for a while because I respect him and, and I like him and it's fine. But at some point the universe 
just gonna like put in your heart because because the consciousness wants to get closer like always consciousness if you're not getting closer you're getting further away there's no stagnation there's a seeming stagnation maybe for a little bit but ultimately we're getting closer or we're going away <clears throat> that's why too like sometimes like I broke up this girl some years ago and then her friends like why don't you still talk to so-and-so I'm like cuz like the season's over like what do you mean well yeah but you can be friends it's not I don't want any friends I didn't make the YouTube video at that point yet I would have referred her to the YouTube video <laughs> some take that literal but what, what to do because I, I was telling like the season's over we're either we're either getting closer or it's like over you know what it really means when they say, well, can't we still be friends? Like, yeah, can, can we keep each other on our list in case we need something? And then maybe, you know, if I need something, can I like call you? <laughs> no, no, you have to call somebody else. Take me off the list. So it came to me, though, to talk to this, uh, this brother and bring that up and say, say what I just said. Like, like, look, man, like, and see, this is what, I, this is what the video is about. Are you comfortable doing this? If you're not, learn to be if you want to have real uh relationships and enjoy that that flavor if not if authentically you're not you're just going to be a hermit and alone that's cool and i don't say that with any uh prejudice or condescendence that's cool too like god expresses in all different ways but if you have the inkling and tendency to want to connect with others and you, you then this might be important for you <clears throat> so i told him i said you know a lot of times you share some good things, but like, you don't want me to share about it. You just want me to like take whatever you're saying for face value. And uh, I'm like, there's other angles though, man. We gotta like, look at that stuff. And he said, thank you, man, for telling me that. That's what you want, somebody like that who can understand. Now some might say, yeah, but they might get offended. Well then, that's why I say, put everything on the line all the time. I used to tell my girlfriend that she didn't feel secure. <laughs> I said, man, when it comes to principle and truth, we gotta put everything on the line all the time. If we can't, if we're talking about a, a, a true principle and we can't come to some kind of um, synchronicity and understanding about something like that, then we gotta be willing for that thing to end. Dogs are coming and she's grabbing them because she thinks they're gonna maybe bite me. She don't know I'm a dog whisperer. I had a girl call me that once. I like that word, dog whisper. All right, so let's uh, let's let her pass, and then we'll continue. While I'm waiting for her to pass, I'm thinking about what I was saying. I was talking about uh, oh, sharing that. That's, that's what I was doing. I was I was, I was sharing this truth. <laughs> All right. See, I play with the dogs. A lot of times, I I passed owners with dogs. I don't even say hi to the owner. It doesn't occur to me. I just say hi to the dog, you know. I was in China and I did that because I would walk around this circle. <clears throat> Other people would walk too. It's like a walking circle or something. And <laughs> I passed this girl like three times, three nights in a row, this woman. And I would, I would just say hi to the dog. Finally, another intruder. Hey, good, man. Okay. Yeah, all right. Finally, she, she made me say hi. She said, hello. I said, oh yeah, hi. I was saying hi to your dog. <laughs> Cause the, the like, dog is, I don't know, it's more open, like they're more, less guile, less conditioning. Mine, I don't like talking to minds. They're just, it's boring. It's heavy, you know? So therefore I can understand a lot of you people, myself included, like we're just not really interested in, people so much you know especially after you've been doing this for 40 50 60 years like you see what's available and you're like okay I think I'll let God send me somebody or uh, nothing basically um, so fortunately when I shared this with the brother he he received it this is what you want you want to find out who you're dealing with always there's always, there's, there's some divine appointed game day. I call it game day. You find out what you're dealing with. Everything's on the line. Life will just construct a situation. You can't do anything. And if you're really present with yourself and you don't sweep things under the carpet, 
It's going to be game day. You're going to find out what you're dealing with. I feel that most of the, most of the marriages that last a long time, <laughs> for sure they're not doing this. Otherwise they'd end. They've just learned, they've learned, like certain things I don't say to her and vice versa because it causes, they're like, why I wanna cause trouble? I don't wanna cause trouble. For me, it's like not trouble, it's like the opposite. It's trouble to not say anything. So it depends on your, your temperament and your level of consciousness and what you're here to do. Because <clears throat> life will do something to where then the person you're with or your partner or friend, they'll do something and then you're like curious, you're like, Why'd you do that, man? I've told the story before about uh, we did plant medicine in Ecuador a long time ago, and and the shaman uh, it was super strong dose San Pedro, and it was on the equinox. Equinox, very powerful energy. So whatever medicine you do on the equinox or solstice, it's going to be like amplified, guaranteed. New moon, full moon, also, but not like equinox and solstice. And uh, and he basically lost his mind. Man. For like two or three weeks. It's like too long. I'm like, dude, just stop it. Couldn't stop it. So I took him I took him to the shaman. And him and his wife, his wife started it and wanted to orchestrate this uh, fable that like we don't know. Like he didn't I don't know, he must have did another drug. It wasn't our medicine. I'm like, because we brought him back the next day. I'm like what do you think he, you saw when he left the previous, like at night, he was, right? He's a little messed up. What do you think? He went and did another drug and then now like he, I'm bringing him back because it, like it was just so stupid. I didn't even know how to comment on it. And then later he would still go over there. He'd go over there and like teach him Tai Chi and his mom would come down from Arizona and then they would all go over there together as a family. I'm like, dude, do you even like, <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? You'd, like, realize what happened? Like, dude, this guy, this shaman, supposed to be a healer. He, like, was totally ready to throw you under the bus. Even let you get locked up. Guarantee. Guaranteed if the police came and asked, for example, they didn't, but if they did, and they asked, they said to the shaman, somebody has to go to jail now. Either, Mr. Shaman, you have to go to jail because, like, the guy did too much medicine and you gave it to them, or he's going to, the, the unfortunate victim that did the medicine he's gonna have to go to jail because he did a drug like you said okay which is it gonna be hands down the shaman and the wife would be like yeah he, he did the drug sorry about that see you when you get out yeah so I had to ask him like how can you go back over there and like bond with people that were like ready to kill you man yeah, he didn't have an answer. Uh, I think somebody in the commenter, the commenting section answered that once, that when I told that story, it, it felt true. I had different answers and stuff, but uh, I didn't want to dissect it and think about it too much because it took energy. But somebody did it for me, <laughs> and they said, uh, I think that he couldn't, the guy couldn't bear that the shaman would do something like that. It would just bring up too much, uh, like, how could you do that to me type thing. And so he just kind of blocked it out. That felt right. Because I know him, and I know like that that made sense, you know. Okay, now, kind of a long long story. But the way I was gonna tie that in though, is that required like that's the stuff you gotta talk about. If something like that happened, it doesn't matter. Like, oh, but I don't know. He might be uncomfortable if I ask him that. Well, well, like, are we? What's our relationship? Are we acquaintances or do we have something deeper? If you have something deeper, amen, then you're gonna have to uh, talk about these things. If you want to grow and get closer, because remember I said the nature of consciousness is it wants to get closer. Or do you just sweep things out of the carpet? So just under the carpet. So you can ask yourself, am I somebody that wants to get closer to somebody when I'm in a relationship or do uh, am I a, a carpet sweeper or something and then see see what it is and then it's an opportunity to to do maybe what I'm suggesting when you feel something's off in a relationship bring it up bring it up give them the opportunity to to see like let's see what's going on and then you'll be closer after or the relationship will end either one you win 
right? Put everything on the line. It's, it's not you putting everything on the line. The universe put everything on the line. It's like, okay, guys, game day. Let's test your level of being able to accept discomfort and emotions coming up and all that. Let's see where you're at. Because remember, this life's about growth. It's not just about feeling you know, blissfully ignorant. <clears throat> the other thing was, I remember this girl had an ex-husband and, and she swore he stole her mom's gold ring. But she would continue talking to him she justified it because it's like, well, they have to share the kids and she gets them one weekend and he gets the other weekend. I said, yeah, that's fine. But like, you don't bring that up, man. I would, if that happened to me, we have to get some clarity somehow. Kids are going to be fine. God's going to work that out. Like, like that has nothing to do with it. But like, did you steal my mom's gold ring? No, I didn't do it. Oh yeah. And then I would present whatever evidence I have and then, and then let's see, let's have a court case right now. <laughs> no, I don't want to do all this. I don't want to deal with that. Well, yeah, okay. I don't want to deal with dealing with somebody when that is in the air. That's the thing. It's like, what's more painful for you? How sensitive are you? Are you more comfortable with just kind of being numb and everything? Or, or does it hurt too much? to not be present and to take care of stuff, karmic stuff that came up. Uh, another guy, we were doing a little business some years ago and he um, did me wrong. He like opted out of the whole deal in the middle of the thing and then it, it was a lot of work on my end to like finish it. I'm like, dude, you don't quit in the middle of something. If you don't want to do it again, that's cool, but you don't quit in the middle. Oh no, yeah, you know, <laughs> so then he'll, he'll try to call or send a message once in a while. I'm like, nope. I said, we got to fix karma, man. That's my, that's my response. We got to fix the karma. And he'll try to do some sly way. Oh, how's this going on? I don't know, man. Got to fix karma. Hmm. Or don't. Either one. It's all good. But like, I'm, I'm clean. You see? Because I'm like being authentic. We either fix the karma. That's cool. Or we don't fix the karma. That's cool. But we're not going to talk in the meantime. So I hope you got the message I'm pointing to. And uh, yeah, just reflect. Reflect and see like where you're at with this. These, these are the topics I like talking about. This is the stuff. This is the stuff that causes the spiritual alchemy and the so-called awakening. Navigating all these little things. It doesn't do any good to just sit here and say, wow, it's just, life is beautiful. What's that going to do? You know? I mean, if it does something for you, cool. If you're fortunate because there's a, all the videos do that. <laughs> so there you go. Enjoy. See you later.